The backpack is so much easier than the rolly thing because you are mobile. You can run to your flight. You can slide into the train. You can like do jumping jacks if you wanted. You can do whatever you want, but it's just super nice to have. Hi everybody, my name is Shayla with Living on a One Way and I make these videos every Wednesday. This Wednesday, I'm partnering with Pack Hackers to tell you the essentials that I need to pack. Pack Hackers is a review site that reviews different products for travelers. Definitely go check them out if you are looking at buying some new gear. They asked me two questions. What are the top essentials that I need to travel with? And what are some travel hacks that I have? So first, the top things that I need to travel with are obviously my backpack. This is a Gregory Pack Backpack Jade Edition. I think the size is 63, I can never remember, or 65. Oh, it's a 60 liter, so this is a 60 liter pack. Honestly, perfect size, don't get any bigger because then you just pack more and then you have to carry more around. What I love about this pack is that it's got this clip in the front that hooks onto your hips, so it's not even on your shoulders right here. And then this clips in the front. The backpack is so much easier than the rolly thing because you are mobile. You can run to your flight, you can slide into the train, you can like, do jumping jacks if you wanted. You can do whatever you want, but it's just super nice to have. The other thing that I love about this pack is there's a bunch of compartments everywhere. You've got this pack up top that I keep my shoes in. Around the hips, there's these little ones where I keep little things that I need. There's these pockets on the side, there's the zipper in the front, and it's super nice, like I have my shoes here, I have my chapstick here, or whatever. And I keep flip flops here, whatever it is, it's just nice to have it in different spots. The other things that I thought were my essentials are electronic based and kind of health based. So electronically, I've got this extension cord. And this seems like kind of a weird thing to pack. I think it's, it's an electronic cord. I don't know, I found it in my parents' basement. But this is so nice. You know when you're at the cafe and you're like trying to do some work but you have to like sit awkwardly to make sure that your computer is close enough to the plug-in and it's just weird? This prevents that. So it's like, I'm gonna plug it in Three feet, well, three feet away from where I am, and I can charge a couple things if I want. Or when you're at the airport and there's a thousand people huddled, huddled over the one charger, the wall charger, whatever, you can plug this in, again, get away from the crowd, maybe make a couple friends, or if you aren't feeling like making friends that day, you can charge a couple extra things. It like kind of compacts into this, and I just put it in that little pocket on my backpack, but it's super nice for hostels too, if you're on the top bunk or if, it's just, it's really, it's coming handy a lot. The next electronic thing I have is called My Charge. It's an adventure charger thing and it just hooks onto my backpack. But this will charge my phone in the airport if I can't get to that or if I'm on the plane or I don't know. I'm out taking pictures and my camera's dying, this will charge it up. This is super nice, I bought the one that is like, adventure so it can just hook onto my backpack and go. This is not only good for making sure that your phone's charged, making sure that your camera's charged, but it's a safety thing too. So you can bring this with you, put it in your purse. If you're lost and you need your phone to find directions or you need to call someone, you don't want your phone to be dead while you're traveling. So this will prevent that. The next couple things are more health based because when you're traveling, you don't always get regular doctor's appointments or you don't always go to the dentist when you need to. So making sure that your health is up to par is super important to staying on the road. Here are the things that I do to keep track of my health. I've got this sweet, I call this my hippie first aid kit because it's just a bunch of essential oils. I do yoga, I like the essential oils. If you're not into this, I, it's fine. Sometimes this stuff works for me, sometimes it doesn't. But I like it because my muscles hurt from a hike, so I'm gonna do deep blue. My skin's all messed up, so I'm gonna put some melaleuca on it. Uh, there are bugs, so I've got Terra Shield. I have lemon for my water. If I can't sleep, there's Serenity. This one I use probably the most. If I'm sick, there's On Guard. If something smells, if my bag starts to smell, I've got Purify. If I'm motion sickness, Peppermint. So that's one thing. Then, uh, I have these. And these are like, okay, this is not the package they come in. I'll put a little photo of the package. This is how I travel with it. So I put it in this plastic baggie. These are greens, and they're like digestive greens. So they have probiotics in them. This is so nice when you wake up after like eating some greasy food the night before and your stomach just doesn't feel quite right. If you've ever traveled, you know that sometimes your stomach isn't quite right or you've heard of it and you don't want it to happen. These I carry with me all the time and I double bag them so that I don't get greens everywhere. Brand is Amazing Grass. Whoa, that was Minnesota. The brand is Amazing Grass and it has, uh, this is Detox and Digest and I've really enjoyed this. I also just started using this Love Bug 
And this is, this is cold sucks, so this is good for like when you're not feeling well, but it's probiotics, it's good for your belly. Use it before you eat, it can help with your skin, but it can just make you feel better. The probiotics are really nice, and this is super easy to travel with. The other thing that I always travel with is an electric toothbrush. I actually just lost my electric toothbrush on the last plane ride because I put it in the side pocket. Uh, so I had to get a new one. This is a Philips Sonicare Phase 2. It's like the most basic one that you can get, but this is so key. You can tell a difference when you brush your teeth with an electric and not an electric. And if I'm not going to the dentist that often, I need to make sure that I have good dental hygiene. People are always surprised in hostels when I'm like, mm. My dentist is always impressed with my teeth and I don't go that often. So, I would highly, highly recommend one of these. You have to charge it like every two weeks, which kind of gets tricky, but it is what it is. The other thing is, I'm a nail biter, and when you're abroad, there are germs and all sorts of like gross things that are underneath your nails. So I bring a cuticle clipper always, so that I'm not like gnawing on my cuticles and I keep them clean and I, it, they keep, it keeps them out of my mouth. But if I do put them in my mouth, I also carry hand sanitizer always. Those are kind of the things that I keep in my bag. Those are kind of my essentials that I must have, other than my camera. Duh. Let's go on to the second question. Favorite travel hacks. This one was kind of tricky for me to think of because the things that I think are obvious and like, of course you do that, it's not super common because people don't travel as much as I do. So I had to think about this one. Whenever I'm planning a new trip, I always use social media. Hop on Facebook and say, hey guys, I'm going to San Francisco, who's got ideas? But don't just say that. Say I'm looking for hiking ideas, I'm looking for a lookout idea, I'm looking for a good coffee place to do work, I'm looking for a good place to go out tonight. Be specific with what you want, you will get more responses and you will get the responses that you're looking for. People want to help and if they know the area, they're going to give you the recommendations that they can. The other thing is go on Instagram and search the hashtag San Francisco or like San Francisco hike. I do that all the time and I find the coolest spots. If you've ever lost your bag in an airport, you know how essential it is to have the necessities in your carry-on. So put an extra pair of underwear, put some toothpaste, put some face wipes, put some deodorant, maybe some dry shampoo, maybe a swimsuit so when you get to the place you're going to, you can just go to the beach or go to the pool and wait for your bag. But just put the things that are going to kind of keep you clean, maybe if you get too many layovers or you lose your bag. Also pack an extra water bottle so that when you're going through security, you don't have to chuck the water bottle you just bought before security and then buy another $100 water bottle on the inside. Bring a water bottle that's yours so that you can empty the water and then get to the other side and fill it up with water. This is a very green option as well, so. If you're traveling with somebody, reserve your seats for the same aisle, window seat, aisle seat. Nobody's gonna wanna sit in the middle, so if they're sitting in the middle, they'll wanna move or you get the whole, uh, whole aisle to yourself. This has worked for me a bunch of times. I know there's another pack hacker who filled this out in the survey talking about how they do that. Genius. The last thing is Google Maps offline. I'm gonna see if I can show you this. So you're gonna go to your Google Maps, then you're going to click on these three little bars, do the offline areas, custom area, download. That way, if you don't have service, your phone always knows where you are creepily, even if you have zero service, even if it's on airplane mode. You can look up a location and it will give you directions to where you need to go. I also use it in my hometown to save on my data. Those are some travel hacks that I have. I hope that those are helpful. Thank you for watching. I hope you got a couple tips on different things to do for your health and for your electronic needs. Thank you, Pack Hacker, for asking me these questions because these aren't questions that I think about even answering. So if you guys are looking for some gear reviews, go over to packhacker.com, check out what they've got. Go to their Facebook, like their Facebook, like their Instagram, like this video. Living on One Way is my page, so check out my Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all the things, all the social media. I make these videos every Wednesday, and I will see you guys all next week. Thank you. Mwah.